Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 1161, maximum level sum of a binary tree. First, we'll see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we are given a binary tree where we need to find the level which contains the maximum sum. So in this case, at level 1, the sum is 1. And at level 2, if I sum 7 and 0, we will get 7. And at level 3, if I sum, we will be getting negative 1. So we need to find the level which contains the maximum sum. So in this case, level 2 contains the maximum sum. So we need to return 2, right? And there is also another case. What if, if we have another level which contains the same sum 7? So in this case, the level 4 also contains 7, right? So when we have two equal values in two levels, we need to return the smallest level. So in this case, we will return 2, right? So now we will see how we are going to do this. So initially, we will be having a queue where we will append the root node. So in this case, it is 1. Then we will initialize three variables. So the max level, which is nothing but our result variable, we will initialize it as 1 at the start. And to keep track of the current level, we are having a level variable and it will be 1 as well. Then we will be having a max sum variable where we will be keep tracking of the maximum sum in the levels, right? Where it will be initialized as negative infinity. So initially, I will be writing a loop and I will run the loop until my queue is empty, right? So within that loop where we will initialize two variables, that is current level sum which is zero at the start then we will initialize next level empty list so within this list we will append the left and right child of the current level nodes right so now since the queue is not empty so we will pick the nodes from the queue so in this case we will pick one and we will add one to the level sum so here level sum becomes one then we will append the left and right child of 1 that is 7 and 0 and then there are no other values from the queue now we need to check whether the level sum is greater than the maximum sum so yes 1 is greater than infinity right so we will update our max sum as 1 and we need to update the max level as the current level which is nothing but 1, which is same. So we don't have to change anything here. So after that, we will make the queue as my next level. So the queue will be having 7 and 0. And now we are moving to the next level. So we need to increase our current level by 2. So again, we need to check all the elements in the queue where we will reset the level sum as 0 and next level as empty list. So now we need to pick 7. And we need to add 7 to the level sum. Then we need to append the left and right child of 7. Here in this case, left and right child of 7 is 7 and negative 8. Then we need to pick the next value that is 0. 0 plus 7 is 7. So level sum will remain as 7. And left and right child of 0 is empty, is none. So we don't have to do anything here. Then we need to check the level sum is greater than the maximum sum. So in this case, 7 is greater than the max sum, 1. So we need to update our max sum as 7. Then we need to update the max level where we will update it by initializing the current level as the max level. So max level becomes 2. So now we will initialize the queue as my next level. So we will be having 7 and negative 8 in my queue. Then we need to increase the level that is the current level by 1. So it becomes 3, which means we are in the third level now. So now we will again check all the values in the queue and we need to reset the level sum and next level. So first I will pick 7 and I will add 7 to the level sum. So it becomes 7. Then I need to check is there any left and right child of 7 it is empty so we don't have to append anything to the next level list then we need to pick the next value which is negative 8 
we will add negative 8 to the level sum so it becomes negative 1 and there is also no left and right child for negative 8 so we don't have to append anything to the next level so now we need to check whether the current level sum negative 1 is greater than the max sum so it is not greater so we don't have to update anything here right everything remains same so now i will initialize my q as the next level which is nothing but empty so q also remains same then i will increase our level by 4 and I will check is there any elements left in the queue or not. Since it is empty, we will stop running the loop. Then finally, we need to return the max level, right? So in this case, the answer will be 2. So in this case, we can see that, right? The maximum sum exists in the level 2, which is nothing but 7. So we need to return 2 as my answer. That's all the logic is. Now we will see the code. So before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So if the root is empty, we will return 0. Then we will initialize the queue with the root. Then we will be having the max level and the current level as 1. And max sum will be negative infinity. Then we will be writing a loop. I will run the loop until the queue is empty. Then I will initialize level sum as 0 and next level as empty list so here the next level is nothing but to keep track of the right and left child of current level nodes so i will initialize within the loop right so then i will write another loop to pick all the nodes from the queue and i will sum all the node values in the level sum and i will take the left and right child of those nodes and i will append that to the next level list right then if the current level sum is greater than the max sum we need to update our max sum and max level as my current level sum and my current level respectively. So after checking that, we need to initialize our queue as my next level and we need to increase the current level by 1. So after the queue is empty, we need to return the max level which will be containing the maximum sum in the given binary tree. Right? That's all the code is. Now we will run the code. As you guys see, it's pretty much efficient. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.